the Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration Ministry wishes to assure all parents, relatives and friends of Ghanaians in China that the Embassy of Ghana in Beijing and the Consular General in Wanzhou are in contact with leaders of the Ghanaian community and the National Union of Ghana Students and receive frequent briefing from them on the welfare of all Ghanaian nationals. Now, a statement released in Accra and signed by the Foreign Affairs Ministry uh, said no Ghanaian has contracted the novel coronavirus, though Ghana has about 152 uh, 52 students in Wuhan where the virus was first reported. Again, the embassy is in contact with students and uh, liaising with their leadership and the Wuhan Foreign Affairs Office to ensure the continued safety of students and the provision of basic necessities. Now we've been joined in studio by Frimpo Musa, who is a youth activist and a UN student rep who arrived in Ghana on January 20 from China. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. First of all, how are you? I'm okay. Don't, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been screened? Fortunately, I was screened at the airport. Where, where in China exactly where, where are you? I am based in Beijing, the capital. Beijing. Yes. And how is the situation there with regards to the coronavirus? Yes, currently it's a bit escalating mm. um, from day by day. Um, I think it started uh, late December and by one week later, the virus itself would, was detected mm. um, because it started as a pneumonia that they weren't able to know exactly what it is. But after a week or so, they were able to identify that it's a rare form of virus mm. that they don't know much about um, until, until now. So the situation, uh, fortunately, it coincided with the Chinese New Year, which is the biggest celebration across China. So Chinese New Year means that many people leave the bigger cities and go to the villages. So that was on Saturday, the New Year fell on Saturday. So as of now, cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, the big cities are all like totally empty. So it's kind of risky and then very sensitive because people are moving across the country because of the New Year. Mm. And then this is where the virus is also spreading at its peak so it's a bit dicey yes and there's a lot of movement at the airport yes, just like yes, you mentioned yes. so how is the screening process like when you were coming to ghana um in beijing as and when i was coming i think as i said day by day mm. the, it escalates uh, so at the beijing airport uh before what are some of the processes yes mm -hmm. uh, before you come on board uh, into the plane after your your last screening mm -hmm. there's um, a medical screening uh, when you check in your bag, I think that's the last point of before boarding. Right. So there's a medical checkup before you jump onto the plane. So that's uh, at the Beijing airport. Mm. Um, fortunately for me in Ghana, when I arrived... Yes, um, I wanted to yes. ask that, yeah. that uh, when you arrived in Ghana, how was the process like as well here? Yeah. I think be because it's, the thing is now very escalating, mm. um, uh, we de this side is now getting... Uh, more of the news but when i arrived i had um, uh, this um, uh, clinic people were there so they check your temperature mm -hmm. but it's not i think i heard it's not always the case that they are there right but i think now that um, um various countries are becoming more alert and aware mm -hmm. um, various countries are putting in more uh, uh, measures at the uh, various port yes, of entries. I, I passed through the airport a couple of days ago as mm -hmm. well and you know I was screened a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to check <laughs> the temperature and all that. Uh, but tell us your experience before coming to mm. uh, Ghana. Mm. How were you coping? I know you are in um, a WhatsApp group with yeah. some of your friends. Yeah. Were you able to make contact yeah. with the embassy uh, there in China, the Ghanaian embassy there? How were you coping? Yeah. Food and every other thing. Yes, I think I just, I, when I arrived here, I just mm. got a message from my landlady in China telling me um, the situation and how the various uh, small villages are taking. So currently, um, I would say that the country is on a, a, a mild shutdown mm. because um, universities were supposed to open a week later, but they have all postponed. And then actually the Chinese New Year holidays has been extended. So it's going to affect a, a lot of things. But uh, in the countrywide, it's... Um, people are advised not to travel. Right. So, say if I'm in Beijing and I'm working in Shanghai, 
I'm told not to travel mm -hmm. uh, this time. I should stay where I am. So, um, so now that you're back here, you're not uh, um, going uh, back. Yes, I have to. I have to relax a bit. You've met family. Are they afraid? Uh, do you know? Are you like you know? I is there think any problem meeting your friends and family? <laughs> yeah, actually, people are telling me I ran away before because of the virus. Mm. But actually, my coming and the virus just coincided. Well, but you are fine. There's nothing wrong with you. You've no, been screened. I'm, I'm okay. You I are think, fine. I think I'm okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Frimpo. Frimpo Musa is a youth activist and a UN student representative who arrived uh, in Ghana from China on January 20th.